Lost not day, we shall lie. Lost not day, we shall lie. Lost not day, we shall lie. Wait a minute, hold it. <laughs> come on, we want to come on in here tonight. <laughs> hey, this is the last night. And what do you say you're going to do? Raise us up. You gotta work up something now. <laughs> hey! All that you've gotten these days, you wanna get the, the power to go down and mix it all up and explode. God's not dead. Come on. He shall light it up. God's not dead. Get it up. He shall light. God's not dead. He shall light. I can feel it. Wait a minute. Y'all know the song? I can't hear y'all saying nothing much. <laughs> I want you to open your mouth up tonight. And I mean, let the Lord know he's not dead in you. Yes, Lord. Because the power is coming to the one that's not dead. Hey! I want you to open your mouth and let you know that God is not dead tonight. God's not dead! He's not dead. He's not dead. He's Yeah. 
charge his leaders. He will charge his preachers and his gifts. That we be able to be workers in these last days. To get this last day crop in for God. We're so glad for Bishop Stacks tonight and Pastor Collins and Pastor Donald Curley. Yes, Lord. I don't know which way y'all going. Y'all going up? Okay. Yes, God. And they're going to right quickly hear from all three of them. It's not going to be long. We know it's kind of late, but still. We got 15 minutes to throw a piece. Hey! Because I'm telling you, I learned something since I've been here. <laughs> yes, Lord. It's something about that spirit that God has and mother for this. I tell you, if you ever felt, now I watch. People want to know what's going on with me. I said, what he's doing, he's killing you. And it, it carries a numbing effect. You feel like you, you dying or something, like you didn't slow down, like everything have come to a slow halt. And you feel dumb and out of yourself. You feel kind of like you're out of yourself. Who experienced that this week? Hey, God is not just touching you to keep you alive. He's touching you to kill you to bring you alive. Oh, thank you, Lord. So I'm trying to help you tonight just a little bit before this power come back through here. Because God is transmitting. He's going to do what he want to do when he leaves New York. He wants to finish up what he has started on some. That they be effective when he leaves. And we looking for the Lord. I, I was watching. I said, people got to learn how to conceive. We don't know how to conceive. He's more than you just falling down. People just want to touch. But he has to be able to touch something in you. If it ain't nothing in there, you can't touch nothing. Some people say, I ain't feel nothing. Ain't nothing in you. Now you know good desire. If you had a good desire, he would come and set that on fire. Oh, hallelujah. You can just have a desire. I want to come out of the mess I'm in. It can be so great that it's standing up saying, here I am, Lord. Don't pass me by. And then you can have a person that really want to be saved, really want to move in another realm, but don't know how to open up to God. And you can beg and shout before you can even open up to him, and he can't come in. So you just get a touch and you keep it moving. If you're ready for him, all you have to do with your will is just saying, Lord, I'm looking for whatever you have and open your spirit up. And he'll do the rest. But we're so used to getting touched and falling down. We're so scared. So we can't hardly get it. And that spiritual room closes back up. So you're scared to get it, you, you close up. That spirit can't get in there, but it come on you. We want some power to go inside. I want power to hit that chief in there that said, I ain't gonna get it. Ain't that right? Hey! I want that devil out of my mind that's talking to me there and not. Oh, yes, Lord. That's why when the spirit say, I want you to open your mouth and say, yeah, he ain't talking about trying to say it. He said, I may open up and say, yeah. That means yes to your will, yes to my deliverance. Yes. Find me in the spirit, put me back on that path where you told me to go in the first place. This is what I'm looking for. We've been praying, but we don't know which way to go. God got to put us there. And mother has a spirit to shoot us where we're supposed to be. 
But if we're not ready, in your mind you got to be ready. Ain't nothing you can do. God got to do this for us. See, we be trying to shout ourselves in the same place, in the same old holler. It's time for you to let him handle it. He may not shout you at all. He may just knock your old demon out and drag you back to your seat and let you sit up there and die. But then a time, there's a time when God will go down in that house and it feels like something's shooting down there, but when he hit a certain pocket in there, that's when you feel that sickness. That's when you feel the demons run into your head and give you a migraine. A lot of times we don't know what's happening. The spirit is running through the house. They trying to find a way to stay in. But the more you holler, yeah, Lord, hey, they got to go out the house. The more you say yes, you got to go. Hold on now, man. Hey, hold. Yes, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Get him out. I mean, get him out. Yes, Lord. But we determine not just to pray, but I want to pray through. I want you to hear me now, Jesus. We don't want to go in this next seat for nothing. I want to hear something. It's something fasting for nothing. Come off, you're fighting before you get off. I told God, I'm sick of that. But you got to have a goal. If you got a goal, God will do his part if you do yours. If he tell you to shut up, he means shut up. If he tell you to stay out the people's car, he means stay out the car. See, we want to fast and yet handling everything. We're not doing exactly what he say now. Even on your seeking. Your seeking got to be exactly like he wanted. Or you lose all them days. We got to know how to do this. When that spirit come tonight, whatever God says, yes, Lord. Don't try to figure it out. He may pull you out and say, look, I want to make, I put a spirit in you that's going to pray all night. Don't try to figure it out. Because it's a spirit that does the work. Come on, I want you to cup your hands for these preachers tonight. Come on. This is that going to say something. Something. Give Pastor Conley, Pastor Curling. They say amen to them.